white people should care about Breonna Taylor. So Breonna Taylor dated a drug dealer and quite possibly Breonna did drugs and um, drugs are, were just a part of life and she never thought about the police that are always like hovering over drugs and trying to spy on you if you're anywhere near drugs. She didn't, it never crossed her mind. Similarly, say that you're a Baylor person and um, you attend college with me, so you know me, or you might know someone else. And um, at one point, Baylor was a major focus of the FBI because they suspected that drugs were being run in the area and that's why they murdered all those bikers at Twin Peaks. I mean, wait, no, I, that's not why. I don't know what happened there, actually. What I do know is that Baylor has feds around it that are very mean and violent. So um, say that you are a white person that attended Baylor, that's friends with someone, and you go to their house to pick up a pair of shoes that you had talked about in person. You never talked to them on the phone about the fact that you were gonna pick up shoes, or even if you did, they might still think you're picking up something else. But you had, already, you had already talked to them in person and they said, hey, come over to my house and pick up shoes. You go to pick up shoes. They see you get a box. You go home. Um, what time do they raid you? Maybe like three in the morning when you're sleeping. So you wake up and groggy and you hear something, you grab your gun. You don't understand, you're discombobulated. And next thing you know, you're a dead person. And all you did was pick up shoes from your friend from Baylor, and your friend from Baylor might not even know that they're suspected of drug trafficking. So this guy from, Modest from the Hells Angels Modesto branch, he pro might not even think of the Hells Angels like the FBI thinks of the Hells Angels because the Hells Angels were major drug dealers in the 70s and 80s, I think. They, they sold a lot of LSD. They worked with the Merry Pranksters, I mean, or at least they had friendship. I'm not saying they work with them, but they knew them. And um, so now, flash forward a, a very long amount of time, and there's this biker guy that's in this small town in California who does meth, probably, I mean, I'm sure, and there's his wife who does meth, and Part of their life is trying to find a way to do meth and the way to do meth is to sell meth and so I, I don't think most people understand that i really don't think people understand how hard it is to <laughs> maintain a very large addiction without doing drugs all i'm saying is um this guy doesn't even understand that the fbi cares so much about the hell's angels because of the 70s and he's just a biker gang member but maybe you never know he's he's 60 so they've probably known about him for a while but um, it was weird how there's no DEA on that list of people that were investigating. What's his name? Randy, I already forgot his name. Um, I don't remember names very well. All right, so if you're from Baylor, um, try not to pull out your gun in your own home to defend yourself when you're in Texas where um, people break into houses because... Uh, they need a way to survive and I mean, and, and, I don't know. There, there, there are a lot of people in Texas. All right, so all right. I was thinking about like illegal immigrants breaking into houses, but don't want to accuse people of doing that sort of thing, but it happens, especially when people are from other countries. They'll just get deported.